Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today I wanted to do a hardware overview on my new work laptop. Uh, this laptop is provided to me by my work to do my daily job and uh, so it's something that I get to live with for the next two to three years every single day eight to as many as 12 hours a day I will be spending with this computer. So underneath it are some of um, some facsimiles of other work computers I've had in the past on the right here this is my HP ZBook 14 I actually got this laptop new for a company I was working for they gave me an allowance to buy it I bought it, it was my laptop and when I left the company they gifted it to me when I left the one here on my right is an HP um, EliteBook uh, 2560P that I've owned, I got it used but it's very similar to other HP laptops that I've worked with. The one in the center is a Dell um, uh, and it's similar again to one I use at work. Now the reason why I have these is because when I'm working on a work laptop uh, that I spend so much time on and then I have a laptop for personal use it's really nice to be able to have something very similar to what I'm working on at work then use at home. Uh, I'm a touch typist and my fingers learn where the keys are and it's just much, just much easier to work on a very similar laptop with the same keyboard and uh, with similar performance because you kind of get used to especially if what you have at work is newer than what you have at home I'm kind of weird that way but uh, like I said this is a hardware overview of the Dell here in the center uh, I will compare it a little bit to the other ones um, but it is focused on the Dell so I'll start off with the things I like about it and then I'll talk about the things I don't like and unfortunately the list of the things I don't like it's a bit longer than the things of than the list of likes. So you'll notice top and bottom there's some green sticky notes. That's just covering up asset tags because I just don't need for that information to be out there for my company. So for starting out on the outside, so it has a carbon fiber finish on the on the lid. It's kind of a nice soft touch rubbery feel. It's pretty good for not being a too big of a fingerprint magnet. It looks really nice. It looks really professional. It has this dark bar here. And I like the overall looks of the laptop. It's really nice and thin. It is nice and light. This is the 13 inch model versus a 14 or 15.6 inch model. And so it's really nice and light. Uh, it also has really good port expandability. So. On this side, headphone, microphone, jacket, sorry, that orange laptop back there is going to make focusing it hard. Headphone, microphone, we have a micro SD slot. This is if you have a, um, a WAN. This is obviously USB. And one of my favorite things is an actual Ethernet port. So at work, we have both Wi-Fi and wired networking. The Wi-Fi, especially as more people get on, get on at work, it slows down and it oftentimes goes offline so having a wired ethernet is very convenient and very nice at work and then when I go down to like the data center and stuff that does not have Wi-Fi I can jack in and work in the data center where all of my coworkers who have opted for Macs uh, have to whip out their stack of dongles same thing for my wireless mouth mouse uses a um, you know, a, a, a dongle that plugs in there, which I don't have plugged right now because I'm using a wired mouse here at home. But again, my coworkers all have newer Macs that all have is USB Type C. Uh, power, uh, this is a USB Type C port, so I do have that expandability if I want it. HDMI, which is nice because a lot of these other ones don't have HDMI, they have VGA and Display Port. And the problem with the display, display Port is not a lot of things except just straight up monitors use that and even then it's not a real common connection at work the VGA is so like I will miss having the VGA this is my ZBook and you can see it has a VGA there on that side and I will miss that because a lot of stuff at work still use that VGA it means I still have to bring around a dongle I just don't have to use it very much because of the HDMI which is becoming a much more common standard at work so I do appreciate that um, opening up on the bottom now this shouldn't affect me much because it is a work laptop I will not be opening this up uh, but the bottom does come off with just a handful of screws and then 
I'm not quite sure what the uh, upgrade ability is for the memory or storage, um, but it does look like the bottom does come off. Like I said, work laptop, I won't be opening up. Uh, speakers here in the front, they sound decent. If I'm listening to like a conference call or something, and I, when I'm working from home, I can use the speakers on this and the microphone, and they're pretty good. I don't use the webcam, you'll see that here in a second, so I don't can't comment on the webcam. Uh, so let's go ahead and open that up. But the speakers are pretty good, and the microphone picks up my voice well. Another thing I like about the touchpad, excellent touchpad, physical buttons. I've always preferred physical buttons on a touchpad. I love Lenovo's, except for since the the fourth gen, so the um, anything with a fourth gen core i i processor or newer just has the one big button with the or the one big trackpad with the buttons up here. Not a big fan. Love the physical buttons, much appreciated. It's a decent sized trackpad, especially for the size of the laptop, being that it's a smaller laptop. So I really do like the touchpad. They did a great job here. And where and we're going to get into some of the list of the negatives here. Um, where the, the top of the laptop and the bottom of the laptop aren't real bad for fingerprints. The palm rest, you can see, I've only had this for a short while, and my palm print has ingrained itself on the uh, palm rest pretty good. And I've tried to clean this with a, a baby wipe uh, and a screen cleaner, and not, none of it uh, has removed my palm rest now that I've used it just a short while. And I don't consider myself to have hands that eat into the materials of the laptop too bad. If you look at my ZBook that I've used literally every single day for four and a half years, uh, the palm rest on it obviously does have a slight amount of wear, uh, but that's after four and a half years of daily constant use. And this is after a week of use. And for as good as they made the trackpad, uh, the keyboard is terrible. It's just awful. Um, the throw on it is fine, but the accuracy of it is terrible. So my biggest problems are with the shifts and the question mark. So if I go to hit shift and question mark, nine times out of ten, it won't press. And so I end a lot of sentences or a lot of questions as sentences without a question mark. Uh, or it'll double tap the question mark, which is not a problem I've had. That's not me. I've never had that problem with another keyboard. Like I said, I'm a touch typist and my fingers find the keys easily, quickly. This is a fa fairly familiar keyboard. It matches a lot of other Dell keyboards I've had, but this one just happens to be especially terrible. And I took it into my help desk at work since I can't open. I'm not going to open this laptop. I'm going to mess with it. And they told me that there's no issue with it and they're not going to fix it. So I get to live with it. And so I just when I'm typing a question mark or hitting shift for a capital letter, um, I'm just going to have to be extra diligent when doing that, which slows me down and that's annoying. Um, so for air intake for the fans, it intakes air down here and vents it here and there behind the screen. So the whole time you're using it, it's blowing hot air up into the screen which is actually not bad because it means well, um, you know if you're right or left-handed your house your mouse hand is not being cooked by the fans the problem i do have is the fan on this is very noisy it is extremely loud and persistent and it runs full tilt almost constantly even when i don't have very much open so um i don't like that i've had other laptops that even with the fan running at full tilt are not nearly as loud as this machine. So overall on a scale of 1 to 10, probably about a 5 with this. Um, I'm not super happy with it and uh, it's really the, the, the keyboard that's let me down. The keyboard on this could really stand to be better. I, I don't care that much about the palm rest. Most people won't see that. Um, but the keyboard and its lack of accuracy is extremely frustrating. Now, a couple more things that really annoy me with this laptop. With the ports, there's no obvious place like there is with my ZBook. I'll show you here. My other Dell, which you see down here. 
or with my other HP, which you see on the same side as the Z-Book, for a docking station. What they do is they use the USB Type-C port. Now, as far as I can tell with this laptop, it does not charge from the USB-C port. Now, I don't know if that was disabled by my company, or if this laptop can't charge off of it, or if the chargers I have aren't compatible with it. It just came with a regular Dell power charger, so I was using a different one, and it didn't charge the laptop. And when I asked for a docking station, because I had a similar docking station, let me grab it here real quick. So this is a similar docking station to the one I had for my previous work laptop, which is a Lenovo. And the great thing about this is it plugs power in right here. So that means that when I plug the laptop into the docking station, I have power, but I also get DisplayPort, uh, DVI, VGA, a bunch of USB ports, even ones that uh, put out more power to charge, like my cell phone more quickly, or if I have maybe a more power hungry accessory. It also has the wired ethernet. Now when I asked for a docking station for my new Dell to replace, since I had a docking station for my Lenovo, I got this. And you get just the ethernet, one USB, a VGA, and an HDMI. And the biggest problem with that is these cannot be used at the same time. I've not found a VGA or a HDMI plug without modification that will both fit in these. And I don't think that you'd want to do that anyways because the video quality I get out of this is pretty substandard. As well as if the computer has to start working very hard at all, it drops significantly. And this just plugs into the USB Type C. So I actually have tried to use this for just a day or two and I gave up. It's not good enough. Um, I'm not very happy with this as my docking station. Now Dell does sell some docking stations. This is um, one I've had previously uh, for here use at the house for my wife's computer. Um, and this plugs in with USB 3 and it does give you some additional um, video out, some USB ports, Ethernet, but it uh, once again it doesn't charge your laptop and it takes a different charger than what your laptop takes. So it means you have two different power cords um, and you, know, you can't use this. The power cord for this is a spare for your laptop. So yeah, plus this fits great in my pocket and would easily sneak off whereas something like this is not something that <laughs> would just grab uh, um, grows legs and, and walks away. This is an older one. Um, it's compatible with this Dell, but I also I had it for some even older Dells that I had. But you know, something like this uh, doesn't just grow legs, walks away. They both have Kensington locks. Not the little tiny one, but the bigger Dell one and this one. Both have the Kensington locks, but even those can be easily broken and um, you'll find this still at your desk the next day. You're, you're not going to find this. You just aren't. Uh, I've actually had these stolen before at, at my uh, place I was working. Another thing that I don't like so much about this laptop is it does have great battery life, but it's not amazing battery life. It's pretty good. And the biggest problem with that is if you noticed, short of bringing a screwdriver with you and a spare battery to plug in inside however it's attached, which I have a feeling it's going to be like an Apple where it's um, taped down somehow. Uh, you are going to have to always have your uh, power cord with you. Where something like, let's use this HP. This HP, the battery, is right here on the back and it's easily removable by uh, sliding this, or is it this one? This one's for the battery. Battery comes right off and you can replace it and if you know you're going to be gone a long time this can either have a 3, a 6, or a 9 cell battery. I currently have just a 6 cell battery for it but if you know you're going to be gone a long time you can have a 9 cell battery and you can be gone all day with it. Let me show you my... and this is similar. This can have a 6 or 9 cell. I have the 9 cell battery in this one and if I go to my other 
HP ZBook, you'd be like, oh, this one doesn't have a removable battery, but it absolutely does. You flip this switch, you open it up, and this battery is removable. There's a switch there and a switch here. Battery comes out. Plus, they sell an accessory like this that um, attaches to the bottom of the laptop, and this is a 6-cell battery. So this is a 3-cell, 6-cell, 9-cell. I've gotten as many as 14, 15 hours out of the pair. So if you're traveling, in my opinion, that's a much better proposition than having to worry about having to plug in with this one. Um, they do sell an external battery pack thingy. Uh, I've looked at it and it's just, in my opinion, not a great solution. Uh, these are their solutions of just being able to have a bigger battery as part of the system is better. It's one less thing to have to worry about. It's one less thing to care about and it's easily, easily replaceable. If you're using your battery a lot, you're probably gonna wear it out and a replacement battery is, you know, even if you get a branded one, you're looking at maybe 70, 80 bucks or something like this is gonna cost a lot more money to replace. And if you replace it yourself, you're probably gonna avoid some sort of warranty and cause yourself a headache down the road. So, as I said, I love the outer design. I love the touchpad. Touchpad on it is excellent. Um, connectivity on it's pretty decent can't complain too much there. Um, I did wish it was a 14 inch instead of a 13 inch, but that's just personal preference. I prefer a 14 inch, as you can tell, 14 inch, 14 inch. The vast majority of the laptops I've reviewed are 14 inch. That to me is really a sweet spot in the um, screen size uh, for, for real estate on the screen. Uh, and I really wish it had a, be had a better keyboard. The keyboard on this is terrible. The, the keycaps themselves feel cheap. They feel terrible. They really do. They're not comfortable. They don't feel like quality. This is not a cheap laptop. This is on Dell right now. I want to say it's about, um, but depending on what configuration you buy, obviously, um, this is the touchscreen, 16 gigs of RAM, Core i5. I think it's spec'd out about $1,800. And when I've had keycaps on $150 laptops that felt higher quality than these and more accurate than this keyboard, that's a problem in my opinion this laptop should not have a cheap crappy feeling keyboard so anyways um, unfortunately I can't do a software test on it because it's, it's not mine and I'm not going to install anything on this computer that was not installed by my company so like I said I just want to do a quick um, overview of the hardware um, design things like that so if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section down below do my best to answer that and just as a side at the end of this I've had a couple of people calling me out um, I do work in IT I am a virtual infrastructure engineer most of what I do is within VMware a virtual environment I'm not a, a hardware export I just do this because I enjoy it and if I say gigabit versus gigabyte and if I try to clarify RAM or memory versus um, storage or a hard drive or SSD and I say the wrong thing that's because I'm human and I say the wrong thing sometimes I'm just trying to share some of my experience with you and I appreciate you watching this and I hope you have an amazing day